And now a Target 12 investigator's exclusive on the former House Speaker. We've uncovered that Gordon Fox is now in prison, still owing the Board of Elections his final campaign finance report. He's two months late in filing the paperwork as he begins a three-year sentence. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau joins us now live with the details. Without that paperwork, which was due two months ago, it's only a guess how much is in that campaign fund. The last time we thought we knew how much Gordon Fox had in his campaign account was in February when he filed this finance report. At that time, he claimed there was just over $244,000 in the account. We destroyed but that. remember, Fox is in prison for spending his campaign money on personal expenses. So there are questions about whether that $244,000 number was accurate. Attorney Alvin Moser was approved by the federal court to be the treasurer of Fox's campaign fund. And he tells Target 12 he sent this email to the Board of Elections two weeks Weeks ago, asking, quote, what filings will need to be made. Moser says no one ever responded to my inquiry. If there is a late report, then I will get it filed soon. Moser also tells us Fox left him documents that he expects will show how much money is left in the account. No, I'm not coming on the As first reported by Target 12 back in November, Fox emptied his other two campaign finance accounts last year, donating just over $91,000 to four nonprofit organizations. Fox is one of many active and former Rhode Island politicians facing fines for not filing their campaign finance paperwork. Second on the list is fellow convicted felon and former House member John Salona who owes just over $184,000 in fines. Right now, Fox owes just over $100 in fines. And keep in mind, he could have legally used that campaign money to pay his legal fees. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News. And you can count on Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of this breaking news story, Gordon Fox reports to prison. We have in-depth coverage right now on our website, including a timeline of the investigation and a look at some of Rhode Island's most notable political scandals. It's all on WPRI.com.